Hey everybody, this is Jake, and today we're going to show you what a tire looks like when you run it on low pressure. So as of 2007, I believe, uh, the federal government, or uh, Department of Transportation, has required that all cars have tire pressure monitoring system. Um, it's on anything you buy from 2007 and newer, and you might even have it. Uh, if your car is a little bit older, depending on the options of that car and whatnot. But I just want to give you a glimpse of what the inside of a tire looks like uh, when you run it with low pressure. And I don't mean like four pounds. I mean, if a tire is supposed to be, let's say, at 32 pounds and you're running it at 20 or 15 or you have a very slow leak, and especially when you're doing freeway driving, high speed driving, what can happen? So I took a look on the inside. And the first thing you'll notice if you ever get this tire off is you have all this, this rubber here. This is actually small pieces of rubber that have actually heated up and come off the tire. And what you can see here is the belts or the plies are starting to show. This is usually either polyester or nylon. I believe on this tire it's polyester, but you can see the rubber is now gone. And now you're now getting into these polyester belts that are usually the only thing in the sidewall that connect the kind of the tread to the bead. And once you get through those, um, the tire is done. So um, let me roll this around a little bit more, see if you can see anywhere else. But you can see all along this, pretty much on both sides, you can start to see the polyester uh, belt or ply on the inside. Uh, and it's the same on the one that's towards me. But the tall telltale tell -tell sign is this right here. You'll just have all this rubber that has now um, come off the inside of the tire. And that's, that's the part that's terrible. Uh, you, you don't see it happening. It happens from the inside out. And uh, all of a sudden you get a blowout and then hopefully you can get over the side of the road. Uh, hopefully it doesn't turn into an accident. And so it's a big reason why they required them. Um, another thing you can do sometimes is when the tires on the car, you'll notice right here, I'm usually in the middle or right about here, sometimes there actually will be a line. And so when you press here, when the car's tire is on the car, sometimes you'll feel a soft spot. The issue with this tire, which is more of a high performance tire or low profile tire, is you won't usually even see this um, because the sidewall is so stiff. And sometimes when you press on it, you won't feel that either. And uh, so you need to be aware of that. And that's always, always, always why you need to make sure that your pressure is correct according to the manufacturer specifications or the tire manufacturer specifications, whoever you're working with, um, that you make sure your tire is at the right pressure and that you are making sure that you don't ignore that TPMS light and that it is working properly. And you just get yourself a regular pencil gauge, uh, pencil tire gauge. You can get a digital ones, but when you need it and the batteries run out, it's like, that doesn't work. So uh, please, please, please make sure that your tires are at the right inflation. Um, if you see that it's low, make sure it's filled. If you see a line here or you push on the sidewall and you can feel a soft spot right about here in the middle, I would suggest you taking that to a tire shop and getting that checked out just in case. If you've had a nail in the tire or you know you've driven low on that tire, um, make sure you get that checked out. But don't let that happen if possible, um, where you have a blow, basically it's being damaged from the inside out. Now. If you have any other questions or you have any other comments on this, I'd love to hear them. And this is Jacob Altrade saying we'll see you next time.